sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top-of-the-line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah ha Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, Hi. she's a beauty. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué es esto? The transition from the, from the intro to the actual game engine is is really cute because essentially the, the intro is pre-rendered using the game engine, so it's really seamless. Okay, so. Uh, this is vanilla, so tank controls and a couple of action keys if I remember correctly. Yeah, there you go. Fixed cameras, tank controls, and it's a point and click. So, this is gonna be fun. Right, so thankfully Manny focuses on whatever is available in the set scene. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases. So all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever well, you say, Hiffy. Yeah. A less point and clicking more arrow keys and action key. Yeah, of course. You, you, still, you do point and engage stuff. Uh, I do remember playing a version with the wrapper with an actual point and click functionality. But this is vanilla. This is just tank controls action key. Yeah. Okay, so special work order. So how do we go about? Let me just check out the menu. Okay. Text mode, voice only. Should I enable? Yeah, I should enable text, voice and text. Character relative. Uh, okay, this seems fine. Control help. Original not remaster. 
I remember playing, wanting to play it when this came out. Yeah, never did. Okay, so examine menu E inventory. Ah, okay, right. Ah, right. The inventory system is really cute. Essentially, you press E, and Manny goes through all the stuff he has in his pocket. So right now, it's just this. To all agents from which is the note we picked up and his scythe and you hear a little bell in the background my scythe I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be <laughs> next to where my heart used to be the original has uh, options to play with graphics the original graphics and controls if you want Ah, the remaster. Yeah, right. Okay, so you can get the remaster and play the way you would I don't have. I want to mess up my blade. It wasn't original. too long ago that the name on that door was Supply Closet. <laughs> wasn't too long ago that the name on that door was Supply Closet. Okay. So how do we... Right. Engaging the inventory again. Releases the item. Escape. Okay, right. Okay, can you guys hear the game fine? Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? <laughs> what poisoning? Yeah, Thank the cold you. three gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? I'm not going to be in a hurry. Any I'm just messages have fun for me? With the dialogue. Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. <laughs> All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. Good point, Manny. Busy as ever, I see. I'd have more work to do if you had more clients. Ouch. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, <laughs> even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. My driver, okay. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. What? Well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? Mm -hmm. Christmas party? So, you going to the Christmas party? After the spectacle you made of yourself last year? I wouldn't miss it for the world. This really cute help. You can get a lot of world building done with with cute lines well I gotta go hit the bricks okay you show those bricks a lesson <laughs> gotta go hit the bricks okay let's explore a bit All right Manny can run as well I think yeah holding down shift Ooh. so one of the elevators takes you down yeah I didn't expect... Sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! No. No, no, no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. Just wrench them. Okay. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. 
Uh, really? your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Right, so we need a driver to get to the poisoning because we want to collect sales on, on, on souls, right? And we have to get there, but Dom, who is another sales agent, has managed to send our driver home. Looks like I need a new driver. Oh! I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Mm. Yes, you do. Okay. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. Rules. Is that a German name? Let's ask about his name. Gladys. Gladys. Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire to drive! Good. Or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. Ah, okay. Yeah, it makes him really cute. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm... I'm... I'm too big. Oh, that's so silly. You're not too big. You're just right. No, they told me again and again. Poor I'm thing. too big to drive. You just have a self-image problem? The cars are too small. Yeah, that's You're it. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll, I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. Oh, no. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. <laughs> He's so lovable. Okay, so looks like we already need to do stuff. Getting him, uh, getting the work order signed. Right, that's it. DOD. Um, what does it stand for? Department of the Dead? That's what I. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so let's see if we can get this thing signed so he can modify the car. What happened? I think there is a clever line in there, if you try to go on foot. Can't go through on foot. Mm -hmm. People have tried, but they never came back. Okay, so not that clever, but still informative. Okay, that's the other way we came from. It's a good thing the doors trigger on their own. Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Was there anything else in my office I needed to pick up? I don't think so. Let me. Ooh. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. Solitaire? Really? Okay. Well, I know somebody who would enjoy that. Anything else in the filing cabinet? Nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. Air out, okay. Hmm. 
Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was too good for him. <laughs> All right, I think that's it. We can always come back later. I remember so it's the day of the dead which means that everybody who's dead in the land of the dead can go visit family but Manny has nobody to go and visit so he's still here along with other people okay hello hey what's going down clown it back off suit I'm practicing oh I, I love that. Practicing what? Ring in your neck. What does it look like? <laughs> Can I walk through your tent? I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? Oh, man, this guy sounds great. Yeah. Some festival, huh? Yeah, yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome's really acting up. Did you Breath with a knife, yeah. Tendons? Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue, but that doesn't seem to shut you up, now does it? <laughs> Bang. Huh. Oh, yeah, I think I remember this. Bang! Ah, popped another one. <laughs> Lousy, bony fingers. Yeah, it can be too comfortable trying to do this with bones. Can you imagine? Okay. I have to go. That sound makes me want to kill somebody. You too? I don't think we have anything to do here. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's uh, see. Yeah, we climbed this. That's a bit precarious. Look, even the pigeons are those killer like. Domino locks his window. Fear of pigeons, probably. Mm -hmm. So we can't get into Dom's office right now. No use for it. No use for it, okay. No use for it. Right. This is this game's version of that's not gonna work. All right. Poor guy stuck in limbo, making balloon animals, but infinitely popping them. Yep, that sounds like limbo. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. And you can select these. Not now, Eva. And that means that if he gets a buzz, the computer will play one of these lines, right? Please, I need a little time alone. Perhaps you would just sign it yourself? Didn't I say no interruptions today? So she said he, he doesn't want to be interrupted, so she, she probably doesn't know he's not here. Or at least she doesn't care. Let's set the computer to answer. I'll just change his auto response here. Okay, so we can right, change it. Ava, just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. Okay, right. 
So if we take the order to her now, she's gonna sign it herself, I, I assume. I would love to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. Okay, we get it, man. We're on the quest, okay. We can come back later. <laughs> Let's try to get out of here then. So how do we do this? Engage here, yeah, okay. Try and throw the rope over there. Okay, so we're spared the animation of climbing down. Yeah. Maybe there's a shorter way to get in there, but I don't think so. Let's climb back to Eva. I love the music in this. The whole, the whole style of the game, the design is absolutely wonderful. I really need the boss to sign this work order, you know. Copo's not really in his office. <laughs> Let's not tell her that. At least not yet. If I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. <coughs> Mr. Copo, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, great, Ava. Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. <laughs> hey, Eva, I'm impressed. I had First no try. idea you had this <laughs> kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. Oh, man, you know stuff. Ooh, man, it is a small car, guys. Hey, I look good in this, don't I? <laughs> That's yeah, not well, work. They say black is slimming. <laughs> I'm driving, yeah, I'm driving. <laughs> Directed by Tim Burton. Faster than this. Ah, uh, I'm gonna miss the poison. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Domino. Ugh. The living still give me the creeps. Right, look at the way the living are portrayed here as stationary images, pastiches, and yeah, it's the the dead who are the normal ones essentially for us from our point of view. Okay, that's that's disturbing. That's really disturbing. I can't use my bare hands. I'm a professional. Okay. Let's do it then. Ah. So that's what the side is for. Nice bathroom. Wait. What? But we offer several travel package okay. upgrades if you'd care to cut the yeah. I want something cheap where I can get some rest. Now that's it. Ay ay ay. Lovely Look, plan. Manny, I could make this car a little faster. If you want it. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh yeah, slam the front into the weeds, tub the rear end, two blowers, pop it out of the hood. Wow, 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 wow. 
You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix, like this. Oh, on second thought, uh, I want to upgrade my package. Huh. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything Well, it's better, better than that but walking here, stick, I guess. Have this complimentary mug. Oh, a no, mug. Sure. wait! Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno, but my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street, no job, no way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill. Yikes. Who you calling a scumbag? Why well, I are not... <laughs> yeah, finish the job, man. I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. It's time to take one. Alright, so we need a, a commission, a good commission. What in the name of Billie Jean's kids? <laughs> not, not the game you're familiar with, Silverleaf? Hey, you missed a great poisoning. Yeah, and you missed a great client. Domino came back from there with a nun. Me, oh, I got a tiny geez. little man with a I mean know. temper and no commission. Well, at least you don't work for one. You've watched Lilia play? Has Lilia played Grim Fandango on stream? Really? Let's tell her. You know, Copal's not really in his office. Sweetheart, I know what you're up to. Huh? You're trying to get me away from my desk so you can link all my paper clips together again. Grow up, darling. Okay. Where is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh, man, did I come in on Saturday again? <laughs> it's the Day of the Dead. Everybody's back in the land of the living, visiting their yeah. families like we should be. Why aren't you visiting your family today? Ah, the boss is here, so I gotta be here. Yeah, but he's How not in you, there. How about you, Cal? No one back there I want to see. And you don't want Domino here alone getting all the good leads. Mm -hmm. That too. Less Any less good options. gossip? Pure interruption. Well, I heard Domino got a raise. Por favor, oh. tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, Bellissa. Mm -hmm. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. That's a lovely line. Yeah, go hit the bricks. Oh, Kopu's office. Um, not Kopu. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Mm. Hey, Kelly, how you doing? So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. Oh. For trains. You got a nun? Ah. Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo-choo, little buddy. <laughs> say, how'd you score? I got a nun, I got two nuns, I got me midget and heads and parcels. <laughs> well, let's, shall we be honest? I got a mean midget I had to send parcel post. Ah, cheer up, buddy. Another day, another death. Am I right? I want to ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. This is hard to kiss. <laughs> Yeah, let's be. Is like it this. hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? <laughs> hey, I got all the lip I need. I get it from you. 
Haha, <laughs> okay, good. Can I have one of your clients? Sure, Cal. Just as soon as I get one I think you could handle. I can handle anything you got. Especially if that's your best right jab. Why do you get all the good clients? You're asking the wrong guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. <laughs> well, that's all I wanted to ask. For now. Well, kid, come back anytime you feel like continuing your education. You wanna tear something, you wanna punch you in the mouth. See you in limbo. Punching animation is really satisfying. Yeah. The animation this is really cute in general. What do you think this does? I want to punch you in the mouth. Oh no, not the Christmas party all over ah, again. That's what happened. What happened at the Christmas party? Blacked out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. <laughs> Well, see you in limbo. Oh, that's great. We should do this more often. I I imagine we will. Okay. Shall we explore downstairs a bit? This way is there? Yeah, nothing. Okay. No, never get out of this place. <sighs> you and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air. Sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. Wait, who, who put a beer bottle in the vacuum tubes? That's gonna ruin things. I'm not walking on the freeway. I shouldn't even be standing here. Good point. Let's get out of the freeway. <laughs> Same lines. Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? No, yeah, don't. yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? <laughs> Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name famous one. Poets. Robert, <laughs> Robert Frost. Robert Frost. Trying to stump me, eh? Ta-da! Oh, look. It's even got the little pipe. Yeah. <laughs> it looks a bit like Robert Frost. Yeah. Well, maybe not from this angle. <laughs> Sure. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Mm. Ah, jeez. What now? All right, so we seem to be able to get him to make balloon animals for okay. us. Okay, I can. <laughs> no problem. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! Do we get to keep this one as well? All right. Some of my finest work. Right, Don't so you think, Sparky? If we're holding the balloon animal. In. Some of my right, finest start work. Don't again. you think, Sparky? So do we have... Yeah, we have both balloon... Both the balloon animal and balloon rubber truss. 
My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? Mm -hmm. A dingo? That's my specialty. Really? Yeah, he, I was gonna say, he's doing it for free. Ta da! I don't think we have any money. Okay, how, how silly can this get? My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? He doesn't respond differently, so. A dead worm? Isn't that gonna be just. An uninflated balloon? A dead worm. Heck, that's easy. Yeah, of course. There's no limit on those. <laughs> this is great. I love this. There you go. There. <laughs> Are you teaching me how to do that? Well, uh, since you're a beginner, why don't you practice the first step? Which is? Blow! Oh, burn. <laughs> I have to go. That sound makes me want to kill somebody. You too? <laughs> yeah, of course, that's it. It's a LucasArts game. It's gonna be fun. Hello? Hello? Okay, something to do. Hello? Maybe not yet. Maybe let's climb back up. Okay, so I'm assuming at some point we're gonna have to get to the other ladder as well, even though that's broken. But I really don't. This is essentially blind for me. No way. If I go any farther, Dong will see me and call the staff shrink to come and talk me down. Yeah, Dong is there, right. Ah, which reminds me, does... Does the Mighty Clock bot have the blind command working? I think I enabled it. so we can't get in the boss's office right now. isn't it? Hello? For later as well, I assume. Alright, so we got a cue about something. We got a cue about the vacuum tubes. Somebody stuck a bottle in the vacuum tube. So if we can... That's the embalming room. And we can operate the fluids individually? Yeah, individually. Ugh, that smell. Ooh, yeah, I imagine. Anything else we can do in here? Bruno? You in one of these? Must have picked them up already. Ah, yeah, Bruno. Okay, so he's, he's been picked up. Right, so let's... Um, hmm. Let me save. And I think I'm gonna try... See if I can get access to the vacuum tube and put something in there. 
Maybe one cost What one is that horrible squeaking noise you're making? New shoes. It's the balloon animals, yeah? Oh. Oh, oh. All right. Let's put Robert Frost in there. Can we? No, don't put it around. <laughs> put him in there. No dice. Maybe another one? Hmm. My message tube is full of nothing, as usual. My message tube is full of nothing, as usual. So we can't put the balloon animal in there. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm already stuck. That's fine, that's the kind of game this is. Deck of cards. Yeah, let me try with the worm as well, why not? So I got... Uh, Worm, uh, uh, this was a dingo. I don't know how he did those teeth there. The worm, the dingo, the, the cat, and Robert Frost. <laughs> That's how we're gonna stop being funny. <laughs> That's not what balloons are for. What, are, what do you mean, Manny? Come on, cooperate, dude. Yeah, unless I'm missing something, you can't That's really not what balloons are for. put any of the balloons in the vacuum tube, at least not yet, maybe. But I, I'm thinking we have to put something in there and get them stuck and something happens. Sometimes the controls are a bit iffy. Mind if I use your hole punch? Knock yourself out. Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? This is this is not random, is it? I'm gonna have to use the hole punch in some way, obviously. Money if I use your hole punch? Knock yourself out. Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? Do I have Ah. Manny, what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. Any more holes and it would fall apart. So, right. We we did a thing. This is where I got stuck for the longest time because I was playing the remaster version on the mouse controls. If I only knew about the whole punch trick in university. <laughs> Brad with a knife, getting your aggression out of university is always a difficult thing. Yakso, you got stuck because you were playing with the mouse controls and you didn't notice the hole punch? Is that what you mean? Cross spot on the table, yeah. Okay. I didn't notice it earlier before, I think, yeah. So I got a... I don't feel like pitching cards right now. This is gonna be a card with a hose in it. Wait, wait, ah, oh, there you go. And it's gonna be important somehow. Talk to the clown again. I wonder if at any point new dialogue is involved. So I can't get through, and the only option 
is to go through his tent. And we have to convince him, I guess. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez, what now? I bet you can't do Robert Frost again. Do you have any more dead worms? I will have another dingo. Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. So he's definitely willing to give us more stuff. So what, you got two now? Robert Frost, the cab, the dingo. Wait, is, is it the same one? This is a cute inventory system, but a, a grid would have been useful, I think, at this point. Yeah, this is the first game they did that's an adventure game like this, but it's in 3D. So, well, the characters are animated and the backgrounds are pre-rendered, but, but still, yeah, it's not the usual style they did, you yeah. Let's try to use the card, I guess. I couldn't play this card there. There? What do you mean there? I couldn't play this card there. So not the clown. I couldn't play this card there. Wait, at this point, do we even have that option to ask him about going through? No. I have to go. That sound makes me want to kill somebody. You too? Right, so we can only ask him for more balloon animals, so go away. So, which, which means, I think, that we need to use the balloon animals in some way, doesn't it? Wait, maybe... Maybe the whole deck? Just wouldn't help there. A deck of cars just wouldn't help there. A deck of cars just wouldn't help there. Get rid of the deck of cards, Manny. thing that is clumsy with this control scheme is if you want to try everything with uh, yeah trying everything with everything is is gonna be difficult with this kind of inventory. Glodis, you in there buddy? Not when there's a door. Yeah not the window. It's locked. Oh. This sign says I'm at the junkyard. Woo That's a good Glotus impersonation. <laughs> Fortunately, I had this into account when designing the game, and you never get too many items at once. Yeah, uh, that's good. I, I, that's as much as I remember as well. That the inventory, even though it looks clunky, never really mu was much of a problem. So Gladys is not in here. So I'm gonna say, venture request that there's nothing. Oh, wait, can we go in there? No, that's all we can do. Right?
Nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. Air out. Alright, we can open and close the vacuum tube. Let me just check out the controls again, make sure I'm not getting anything really silly. Cutscene, run. Oh, you can use one through nine for the inventory. Okay, that's good. Yeah, so we do have a grid essentially, it's just not graphical. Examine item, use item, pick up item. Yeah, there's no special button to do anything else with the item. Let me try. Okay, so number one is the side. That's the deck of cards. Deck of cards just wouldn't help there. Right, so P does the same as entry. I couldn't play this card there. Obviously. If I remember correctly, to use an item somewhere or to give it to someone, you hold it in your hand and then press the action button. Yeah, that's. That's what I've been trying as well. I don't think there's anything else to try. Yeah. Hey, Hurl. Yeah. <laughs> Got another question for you. So these are iterative. I just wanted to stop by and touch base. See ya. Oh, that's great. We should do this more often. Wasn't too close when you tried to place the card in it. Then let me try again. Walking around with balloon rubber frost is quite an experience. Get in the office, Manny. No, no. Okay, so the tube's open. Yeah, and I press the use button and nothing happens. Uh, which one is the card? This one. I couldn't play this card right, there. So it doesn't work that way. I couldn't play this card there. Yeah, I'm gonna need it for something else obviously. It doesn't make sense to put it in the tube as well. It wouldn't really be a problem, I think. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Mind if I use your hole punch? Knock still yourself use the out. Hole punch. Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? The way he repositions himself for the door is really cute. Did we miss anything in here? This? No? Nothing to see, nothing to do, other than the door. Okay. Yeah, of course, I got empty balloons. The use of empty balloons is to fill them up. That's... 
Alright. Maybe we put the... That's a balloon full of embalming fluid. Maybe we put that in the vacuum tube? Where's trying? Ah. <laughs> Dude, can you imagine the mess? And if that's the only way that they're sending and receiving text messages, orders, written orders throughout the building. So which one is... Ooh, that looks wrong. <laughs> Look up below. Oh dear, that can't be good. Let's uh, let's close this. So I'm thinking if we go downstairs, maybe we'll get some sort of reaction to this. certainly did something. Oh, the street tune is great. Another balloon animal. Jeez, uh, what now? Hmm. Do you have any more dead worms back there? I wonder well, if we sure. have to. Let's try with another one. The machine still looked operational, didn't it? Let's try doing another one. Just to be sure. That's not what balloons are for. Yeah, money. Cut it out. Yeah, let's fill in, uh, fill up another one. Take your time, okay. Robert Frost is number three. Cat is number four. That's fine. That's... Wait, is that it? Yeah. Okay. Do we have any more? I think that's the third. That's a full one. Okay, let's. Yeah, there's obviously we can get a couple, so maybe it takes a takes a couple to actually damage the machine. Because I think that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, that there wouldn't be a reason to have this available if we didn't have to damage the machine. Doors open all the time. That's just dangerous. Okay. Let's try another one. Ah, oh, we can do. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's still working. It 
it's still working, isn't it? Let me try another one. How many is it gonna take? At this point I got nothing else. Let's try to take some more. So we have three in there, is it? it yeah, I think it's three. It's gonna be a number of some sort. Or that's just not enough. Maybe we have to put something else in there. So I think... I don't know, I seem to recall it as being the case. I really don't remember. So let's take some more worms from the guy, Mr. Funny. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, jeez. What now? Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. Not what balloons are for. I couldn't play this card there. No, no. Put it away, man. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. We can keep taking them. Let's take three. That's not what balloons are for. Kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, oh, jeez. What now? Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. Okay. Let's fill them up. I'm getting many Calavera edition. <laughs> That's a good idea. Maybe Worms Armageddon is also something that's worth playing. Yeah, okay. Do I seem to recall Worms only being fun if you had an actual opponent to play against. Playing a computer is not as fun. Okay. Wait, is the... The fluid doesn't seem different, does it? It's... It's red and blue, but I think it's the same fluid. Let's fill one up. Do they look any different? No. Oh, they do look different. Oh, oh, maybe it's like component glue. 
Entropy Star Rover, thank you for following. I think I might know Entropy Star Rover. <laughs> Didn't the alert trigger? Oh well. But, that, uh, but doesn't the fluid only harden when you have both? Yeah. Maybe I just. Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe I just need to put two of the two of the different fluids in there, yeah? Oh, that, that wouldn't have been obvious. I'm sorry I didn't... No, don't. I should close Bruno's record before the black mark burn into my screen. Okay, let's... They're obviously visually different so that I know what I'm putting in there. So I put one of these, a couple of these in there. Let me put this one in there. Maybe that's gonna trigger something. Oh! That doesn't sound good. Yes, let's, let's close this. Okay. Right, so that should have been obvious. It's red and blue, yeah. And many mentioned it during the cutscene where he's embalming Bruno. Yeah, it hardens when it's... yeah, obviously. That should have been obvious. Well, got there in the end. Server's down again. Server. What else is new? Server's down. <laughs> I can't find my driver. Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? Hmm. No, but I like to hear your description of it, just for kicks. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries That's valiantly to sell them the bit. best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here, having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. Yeah, well, that seems proper. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Get in there, Manny. So what am I trying to do? Server is down. Server. Which means something. Let's see if we get other options with the clown now. Triggered something in the building. The whatever follows should be. I in remember the, the year they built that. Mostly because it cost so much, we didn't get bonuses that year. <laughs> da caños. This is really cleverly written. Really nicely written.
any changes in here? Hey, Hurl. Yeah. Got another question for you. So. Shoot, slugger. On second no. thought, I bet I can figure it out on my own. That's right, Cal. Just Give it the old college pork. try. Sipping a good root beer oh, now. Oops. Oh, that sounds I keep nice. Forgetting. Was that dinner, Kirkland? You didn't go to college, did you? <laughs> well, see you in limbo. Oh, that's great. We should do this more often. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't Order want to be from disturbed a today. Order from place for dinner. Order then. Yeah. Alright. And let's check this out. Then. We don't have many other options. Boy, it's a good thing we can we can run. Oh. It's locked. No, no changes here. It's locked. I don't want to mess up my blade. Sure. to mess up my blade so it's not gonna be that no can we use the card I couldn't play pick? this card there no well we're trying I don't feel like pitching cards right now I couldn't play this card there no Missing something obvious. Hello? Yeah, you know Hello? what? You can give me a small hint, I don't mind. I think I've played through this part, I just don't remember it well. The only parts I'm absolutely sure I haven't played are beyond the air one. I seem to remember something about the confetti as well there with the hole punch. The camera angle is messing with your sense of direction. at a certain location is it the lobby because I feel like I'm missing something in the lobby yes the lobby <laughs> okay let's go back to the lobby <laughs> managed to confuse them even more <laughs> I it just feels like there should be something else in there as well, yeah. When you go in one direction, you go to the embalming room. And I feel like there was something else in the other... Let, let me check it out again. Modest backseating. That's okay. We can allow some backseating. I remember the year they built that. Mostly because it cost so much, we didn't... Okay, we can use the, the full stop period to interrupt the dialogue. That's good to know. Alright, so... 
Yeah, I, I did ask. Okay, so this is this is where the embalming room is. Nothing in here. Wait, maybe no. Wouldn't the the server room or whatever be in here as well somewhere? If I go this way, this is the elevator. No, I know, but I can't let pass the opportunity to mess with Yogg. Wait, is that... That's the same room, yes? Or is it? Wait. What about... No. I'm gonna be I'm gonna feel really stupid when I get this. Okay, that was annoying. See? It's obviously not the same room. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Can't reach. Can't reach. Good. Looks dangerous. <laughs> First try. Hi. I'm not getting any messages. Is the server down? This is their idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they like that. The server is down. Is that so it? you're saying the server is down? Is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. So it's down. <laughs> so how long is it gonna be down? With a job like this, you can never tell. Probably hours. Or until no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes first. Yeah, sounds like IT. Can I squeeze in there, just for a sec? Are you kidding? This is a highly secured area. No one's allowed in here who ain't me. Yeah, it looks very highly secured. What's so special about you? I, sir, am an elemental spirit, summoned from the land of the dead itself. Yeah, yeah, let me guess. You were given one purpose, one skill, one desire. Fixing pneumatic tube switchers. No, I was created to run the elevators, but they put in those dang motion detectors and put me out of work. Technology marches on. <laughs> Who would do a terrible thing like this? It's those punks in the mailroom. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job. And they're right. <laughs> you know, I really think it's clean enough. Oh, it's clean enough to run, all right. I'm just fiddling around to be safe, you know. Oh, right. So Gotta he cover just... my ass. He yes, you cover do. His ass. Just curious. How'd you get in there? I squeezed down one of these tubes like a pixie. How do you think I got in here? Through the door, just like you. Say, uh, chatty Cathy. I got a lot of tubes to flush here. Yeah. Hey. Me too. I'll let you go. Okay, so that's as much as we can do here. It looks like. Oh! Not again! What happened there? Ah, 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 ah. You trying to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher! Spray that on this packing foam, and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here. <laughs> what? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste. Okay, so we... Uh, we're gonna have to do that at some point when he's not here. That's obvious, isn't it? <laughs> hey, I'm 
We're still not getting any messages. I'm giving you one right now, but you can't <laughs> see my hand. Okay, that's cute. Hey, this is a family stream. Wait a second, can I use any of the... They could coins, maybe? We're either gonna have to distract him somehow. Entropy star over, hey. <laughs> Can I out you, or should you remain to be anonymous? Deck of cards just wouldn't help there. No. Deck of cards just wouldn't help there. Maybe not the deck of cards. Ooh. Good enough for government work. Wait, so we had to hang around for a bit, yeah? A Cochris card caught fire at work and he had a box of fireworks in there which also went off. Melt the trim on the car, on the cars on each side and burned down a small tree too. Oh wow, we watched from the office. Well, that's disturbing. When did when did this happen? Well, I'm sipping coffee. Fifteen you years ago, so some, some time ago. Budge. There must be something else keeping it shut. Something else keeping it shut. His story about the Roman candle made me remember. It. Oh yeah, okay, I see. Anything back there? But I'm sure you can tell some stories about fireworks. Oh, don't you start! That's that's not something we speak about on stream. <laughs> well, since you're being so chatty, everyone, Entropy Star Rover happens to be my girlfriend, and she's. Providing some much needed moral support. <laughs> Wait, how did I get here? He, what happens when I look at chat? Wait, so... Be back and start the fire here, maybe that's what I need to distinguish it for. That's not on fire. That's not on fire. Yes, obviously it's not on fire, Manny. That's not on fire. Good, good, good That's not on fire. Great, Kirkland, you can ask. I'm not sure I'm gonna share though. I'm not gonna incriminate myself. And I'm obviously making it worse now. <laughs> not here. Not here, okay, right. Let's go down there again. Whose fault is it, Manny?
<laughs> so they're both over here, yes, obviously, okay. The tune to this room really is quite intense. The wheel won't turn and the door won't budge. There must be something else keeping it shut. What would happen if I if I do it again? Is the elemental gonna come and repair it right away, or can I? Hmm. Let me see if I can still get balloons. Not that way, Manny. The other way. Jeez, uh, what now? Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. Okay, so I got two of two of one fluid. Let me fill up one with the other fluid. I don't got the lungs for it. The lungs for it? Oh, filling up the, blowing up the balloon, no. So we got some of the, the blue one I think, yeah? No. That's annoying. Are they all the same? This one and this one. Okay, so they're the same. So we need an empty one and a red one. Okay. Right. 
Limbo balloon service, providing you with infinite balloons to further support your trip. Yeah, we might be in limbo, but at least we got balloons. Okay. Better worse with balloons. That's yep, can't argue with that. <laughs> Alright, so this one. darker this one I gotta stop doing this <laughs> oh see they expected you to do it again there's a new line in there obviously okay so if we go down there and it's the same deal. There's something else we need to do. Server's down again. What else is new? Okay. Get in there, Manny. Oh man, it's been almost two hours. Still here. As a rule, I never touch anything more sophisticated and delicate than myself. Here again, rather. Hey, I'm still not getting any messages. I'm giving you one right now, but you can't see my hand. Can we distract them some way? Not the balloon, Robert Frost. Play this card there. Maybe the different cards. I think they would try to do. The deck of cards just wouldn't help there. Let's try the extinguisher. That's not on fire. Yeah, it's parked before, didn't it? The wheel won't budge. It won't budge. Man is running around like crazy. Hmm. As a rule, I never touch anything more sophisticated and delicate than myself. <laughs> Wait. No. Oh, no. I was hoping I could get the scythe out to get some sparks. No room for that. No room for that. Really. Not right now. Hmm. So... Not right now. He doesn't want to get the scythe out now. Not here. Hey, I'm still not getting any messages. I'm giving you one right now, but you can't see my hand. Hey, I'm still not getting any messages. I'm giving you one right now. So I got a bit distracted first time around. What actually happened? I hung around for a bit, didn't I? As a rule, I never touch anything more 
sophisticated and delicate than myself. So I'm thinking either we have to do something in here or there's an interval during which he is here and we have to do something while that's happening. something we need to do something while he's here thank you Jan. I've just locked an open door strange yet symbolically compelling that's Interesting. Wait, so now when he tries to close the door, if he doesn't notice this, it's gonna... Um, so when he's not here, we should be able to enter the machine. For whatever that's worth. The wheel won't budge. Alright, so there's two, right? I didn't notice that one before. He focuses on the wheel and on the... Uh, on the boat. Hey, I'm still not getting any messages. I'm giving you one right now, but you can't see my hand. 
All right, so how did we trigger him leaving again? Hey, I'm still not getting any messages. I'm Does anyone remember? Right now, but you can't see my hand. You have to look where my looks at. Yeah, yeah. It's a very slight tilt from this to this. Yeah, it, it's it's over here. So I thought that was the only one. I think you just leave the room. Yeah, did I leave the room and come back in and he was done? Ah, oh, right. You leave the room. Okay. Good enough for government work. So he's gonna try to close the door now. And he's not gonna pay attention because that's as much as he cares. And we can enter the room again. And okay. Govern for you know. <laughs> it's locked. It's locked. Lock it in. Mercedes Colomart, client number 9308, blah blah blah. Died of chicken box, time of death, yada yada yada. Aha! Positive attributes, volunteer time, reading stories to dying children. That sounds promising. That's, good. That's really good. Wait. I that's think you're it, Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. A good client, yeah. Okay, right. Gladys, are you loco? What got into you? That was a company Upgrade, car. people. Oh, yeah. Upgrade. And it's even better company now. I'm in. <laughs> Buenos dias. You're not the nurse? No. Oh. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No. But there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calavera. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche, oh, I can sweet. see it in your face. And in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Hmm? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. The only implication here is that I'm fired. Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Anything about your past you haven't told me? Excuse me, may I have to go straighten this mess out? Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Well, that was stupid. Did you kill much when <laughs> you were alive? Very little. <laughs> Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Okay, that's a good start. Not even a teensy bit of killing? <laughs> Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh, that's adorable. Oh. Mean to animals? Oh no, I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. She was volunteering at an animal shelter, of course she was. Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. What? Aha. Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. Ah. Uh. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calavera, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. Yes, good I point. guess you'll just have to trust me then. Litter? 
Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? Work with me, Mechi. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now if that would help. So she's never done count. Sorry. anything I bad give up. at all, ever. Don't say that, Manny. So she's definitely Mercedes and she's definitely not done anything wrong, but she's still not eligible for a good commission, a, a good option of traveling through the underworld. So excuse me, but I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's, not it's your no fault. trouble, but please call me Manny. All right, so seems like she's waiting in here. I've been thinking about your case. Mm-hmm. Right. So Excuse we have to go. Me, but I have something. to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. Love interest. You think so? Yeah, could be. That's gonna complicate things. If that's if that's the case. I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. Oh. Now she's making me feel bad. Let's see if ever else can help. Hey, funny bones! In my office! Now! You vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road! All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent! There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. What? She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine. Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients the domino. That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service? Mm. Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve. Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want what? done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! Okay, that changes things a bit. Uh... Is that an espresso machine? Ooh, ick. Uh... It came out like soft-serve ice cream. But judging by the smell, I think it's auto body filler. All right, it's filler. So we're, at some point we're gonna need a container to put some of that and to use it for something. That's that's how these games work. <laughs> I can't just leave, can I? Hey, is anybody out there? Ooh. So Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? Who's out there? I'm you. Or rather, I was you years ago. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, I'm me now, so get lost. There was something about an underground resistance of some sort, wasn't there? Get me out of here. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. I got something they can. <laughs> okay, my loyalty is still to the DOD. The DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. Uh, look, I did what I had to do. Mm. Let me save. Yeah? Well, I got something they can stick in their fold. You have to try harder than that, Manuel. 
A man's loyalties decide his destiny. Right, so he wants a, a more definitive answer. The DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. But I'm angry. Well, no, let's go go in. I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. Young man, you are an enemy of the Department of Death. Good. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Salvador Limones and guest. Where are you and taking guest. me? To the headquarters of the LSA. LSA? The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. Good. To do what exactly? We need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny? I oh. was once a reaper like yourself, Manuel. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option but to march on a treacherous trail of tears, unprotected and alone, like babies, Manuel. Like babies. What's your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you Agent Calavera? Manny suits me fine. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Well, you won't even be able to get out of this city without my help. Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, Manuel, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. Okay, so we haven't joined yet. Oh, very conspicuous entrance. Yeah, the trap door behind the building. That's nobody's gonna check that out. All right. Manuel, I was looking at that. Okay, let's not do that then. Open that door, Sal. I got places to go. Does that mean you're ready to join us? Okay. Okay, I'm in. What do I have to do? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Marro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. Do you know something I don't know? Have you ever wondered why your clients, even your best clients, never seem to qualify for the packages you know they deserve? Yes, my last client in particular, mm -hmm. Mechi. Well, they all did qualify, Manuel, especially her. But somehow, somebody with access to the files has stolen their just rewards, their sweet hereafters. Their tickets on the number nine? Precisamente, amigo. It's the same game, but it's set in Finland, and our main character's last name is actually <laughs> Kalevao. <laughs> Good one. Okay. What would they do with the tickets? A ticket on the number nine is like a leaf of gold, Manuel. Especially to one who has died with a less than perfect record. Someone is profiting here from those that would buy their way into heaven. But money's not important here. We all just want out. You want to get out, Manuel, and so do I someday. But for some people, this world is all there is. They have decided to seek pleasure and happiness here in the Eighth Underworld. And for that, you need money. Aha. Uh -huh. You want me to be your messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. Pigeons. If I grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No, I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. Okay, so obviously that's where the pigeon stuff comes in. You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. Now that's all the briefing you need, soldier. Oh, that's a great Viva line. Viva la revolución! 
go get me an Air Force before it hatches. That's that's great. That's wonderful. That's a very good question, Brad with a knife. I'm gonna assume yes, otherwise we're gonna have So problems. you're not really a secretary. I'm a spy, Manny. Well, that's the last time we use that temp agency. <laughs> Bone eggs. <laughs> Any messages for me? Yes. Join or die. But I'm already... Again! Oh. Eva, you gotta get me out of town. They're gonna sprout me. You can't leave, Manny. We need access to the DOD computer network if we're ever gonna find out what's going on. And we can't access without a salesman like you. The computer IDs you when you log on. How does it do that? Fingerprints? I don't have any. <laughs> your teeth, Manny. Haven't you ever noticed your computer scanning your teeth when you log on? I thought that was just a power search. We need your teeth, Manny. We can't let you go. Sorry. Do you need my teeth? Both bones and eggs are made from calcium. Uh, yeah, the shells, yeah. Doesn't Kapal wonder where you are? Don and Domino are both locked up in Don's office with some bigwig from downtown. Some fatty in a fez. Some fatty in hmm. a fez. Who is the fat man, I wonder? And how does he fit into this sinister puzzle? Oh, man. I remember this line. I remember this line clearly. I had a... I had a magazine CD out of old computer magazines. And there was a, a demo, I think. Oh no, there was a desktop theme. A Windows 98 desktop theme uh, on there. And one of the sound bites was, was this one. Who is the fat man, I wonder? And how does he fit into this sinister puzzle? How long have you been a spy? Salvador recruited me about a year ago. I couldn't resist him. He's just so noble. So she's messing with the radio we can hear. What are you working on there? I'm trying to get this radio working so we can use it in the field. But it looks pretty hopeless. That's Salvador's gonna be a right. quest as we well, isn't it? We need good old-fashioned homing pigeons to communicate with our field agents. Y yeah, yeah, uh, field uh, agents? I'm pretty sure that was part no, of the desktop just theme. That's how right I now, remember the line. Manny. So, you won't help me out of here? Sorry, I'll help you out, but not your teeth. Think it over. Hmm. Okay, so we got the tea thing, we got the pigeon thing, and uh, the radio is going to be part of something we do as well. Can we just open the door? It won't budge. It opens for members of the LSA only. Wait, didn't we? Have you thought about using messages tied to balloons? I can get you plenty of balloons. <laughs> Pigeons, Manuel. Bring me the eggs. Yeah, we can get pues, balloons. Okay. Yeah. Viva la revolución! Viva la revolución! Okay, so we can get topside again, at least. Wait, let me check out. There was. This is open now. Ah, this is, ah, right, this is, yeah. Can we climb up and check things out? Uh -huh. So those are the pigeons. Hmm. Tom's office is empty. Maybe we should go in there? I can just open my stream manager on a different screen here.
Let's see if we can find something else I'm gonna in there. try to guess his password. Nope. It's not Golden Boy. <laughs> He's got a lock on it. I can't believe he doesn't trust me. What the? Oh. What did we find there? That was the sound of progress. The sound of progress. And the extinguisher, not the cards. It looks like a uh, glowing hunk of coral. Secret God Sex password. Yeah. All the usual ones. He's got a lock on it. I can't believe he doesn't trust me. So what exactly is it? Yeah, us getting out of the office would be funny. I can't it? go strolling through the halls now. I'm on the lamb. Sure. Well, we got something. No use for it. No use for it. Mm. Climbing back out. No use for it. It's locked. Okay. So I remember us being able to pick up the rope. I'm gonna assume we have to get across somehow, but that's that alone is not gonna do it. Thing is a paperweight? No. Ah. Yeah. I wonder if that's how Domino meant it to be used. That's a good point. I did not expect <laughs> So you're gonna just... Oh no! Not down there, Manny. We've done something. Go back up. Yeah, grappling hook achievement, exactly. <laughs> Is it still gonna be up there? I hope so. Seems dangerous, yeah. Manually operated, in case you were wondering. Okay, so there's the. Oh, can you even see me in there? Look how far away I am. Okay, those are the the eggs. Hey! Okay, we don't want. That was the psycho theme, wasn't it? Yeah, so yeah, we can't get close. Watch it! Okay, so we can't even get close to the eggs. Okay, 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 I'm going. So we need a way of doing what? 
distracting the birds, getting rid of them. Okay, so at least the game saves you the, the point of climbing down the ladder and moving back again. So we definitely need something to distract the birds. I wonder if this is going to be a way of getting down there. Agent Calavera here. Yeah, and now it's going to... I don't know, it doesn't seem very... a very safe way to get into a secret hideout or... or operations center or whatever. Have you thought about using messages tied to balloons? I can get you plenty of balloons. <laughs> Pigeons, Manuel. Bring me their eggs. Pues, okay. Okay, okay, eggs. Viva la revolución! We're on it. Eggs. Why won't you help me out? I need your teeth, remember? Maybe not yet. Ooh. Can we get her an impression of our teeth? Using the... Do you go to car filler, maybe? I'm Should not going in there. Oh, they right. still think I'm locked we up. Can't go in Hopefully. There. I wanted to try and get, maybe get some of the, there was confetti on, because of the hole punch on Eva's desk. His teeth are painted on his cuff. For stylistic purposes, for immersion purposes, we'll, we'll try to forget that. Hey, what did they do with Gladys? Hmm? Ooh, ick. It came out like soft serve ice cream, but judging by the smell, I think it's auto body filler. Okay, so can we. I don't know. We don't really have much. Of my blade. Yeah, I'm sure it's gonna come in handy at some point. I don't want to mess up my blade. We can't feel another balloon with it. Yeah, do we have an empty one? Yeah, let's check out and see what the, what the clown is up to. But if we bite, well, it's hard, it's going to harden, right? If we bite into it. Hmm. Worth trying, why not? My kid yeah, we can still get another those. balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez, what now? Do you have any more dead worms back there? Look, if I give you any more of those, you'd be able to go in the business for yourself. Oh. So forget it. Well, that's unfortunate. I really hope that doesn't mean we're completely stuck. Wait, does he have other lines now then? No. My kid uh, wants another balloon in Is he gonna give us anything uh, at all? Jeez, what now? Can I have another cat? Did you lose the one I gave you? Right, so he doesn't want to no. give us any balloons. Well, so he was only there for, for the purposes longer, of getting the, right? the empty balloons for that for that bit, I think. And maybe we'll open on some other lines as well, but not yet. Frost again. Did you lose the one I gave yeah, you? Yeah, definitely not. No. Okay. Well, then just in... Do you have any more dead worms oh, back there? Not this one. Look, if I give you any... So for... Okay, so he doesn't want to give us any more balloons, definitely. 
So we can't use a balloon for that, no. And we can go back back into the building. At least not. Can we actually? Yonder, hey, how are you doing? I'm not going upstairs. I want him to think I'm still locked in the shop. Okay, so we definitely can't go back into the building. Did you have some rest yonder? I remember the year they built that. Yeah, maybe. Mostly yeah. because it cost so much. Not enough. Well, yeah, I know how that feels. What? No, nothing over here. Hmm. So do we climb back up then? It doesn't seem like we have much else to do down there. Okay, so the line's still hooked. It's locked. Alright. No use for it. No use for it. Can we get the cup? No, Manny. Stop drinking. Can we get the cup for the body filler, maybe? I think Manny has a problem. <laughs> Again? No use for it. No use for it. Focus on... If you're stuck in limbo, you drink too? Yeah, maybe. Can't say I've been stuck in limbo before, so. Yeah, so he's definitely gonna keep drinking if I do it. You like my playstyle? <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Do you mean stumbling around not not knowing what to do? <laughs> Oh, that did something. Ugh, Domino had this in his mouth. It's a mouth guard. We're gonna use the mouth guard. Oh, okay. Maybe you're in limbo right now and don't know it. Um, I have to say it's a distinct possibility. Okay, so let's try the mouth guard on the auto body, uh, body filler, yeah? And if that's not the case, I'm gonna be annoyed. Because it, it makes sense, doesn't it? It's not very hygienic, no. It's very nice how each of the rooms triggers the soundtrack dynamically, it doesn't it doesn't seem disjointed. It flows nicely. Okay. Oh, well, I wish there was a better way of remembering which is which. Okay, so that's... Those three polygons in there are the mouth card, I think. Right. Good for dents, great for dentures. Your mouth money. Let's do it. It's already full of that stuff. So he's focused on. I don't want to make an impression of that. Really? Okay, right. Ooh. That sound. Oh my god. 
Wow, that made a perfect impression of my teeth. <sighs> Quite a chalky aftertaste, too. Chalky. Mmm, yum. Okay, let's give it to Eva. Or Eva. However she pronounces her name today. Stop doing that, Manny. Yep, a perfect fit. Oh, okay, right. Just to make sure. Alright, so let's put it away, Manny. Agent Calavera here. Hmm. Sound design in, in this game is super delicious. Yeah, it is. I really love the sound design in this. The music, the voice acting, the, the effects. Oh, it is Why great. Why won't you help me out? I need your teeth, remember? Okay, let's try to give that to her. Manny, this looks like a perfect impression of your teeth. Yeah. We can use this as a mold to make a fake set of teeth and get into the computer system that way. Good work, soldier. Okay, so we did a thing. Did I mention it's been great working with you? Ditto, kid. <laughs> She's fun. Have you thought about using messages tied to balloons? I can get you plenty of balloons. Pigeons, Manuel. Bring me their eggs. Pues, okay. Viva la revolución! Yeah, yeah. So let's try to figure out the pigeon thing then. Anything else we can pick up in here, maybe? No? Pigeons, yes. Try to distract the phone, maybe? I'm sure there's gonna be, a, at some point, we're gonna get, have to go through that tent and beyond. Maybe we can get something for the pigeons. A deck of cards just wouldn't help there. Oh, bread! That's bread! How do I get that bread? I need crumbs, yeah? Pigeons eat crumbs. Can I just get the bread? Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. Pan de muertos. That's lovely. Okay, so we got bread. That's a nice baguette there. I get crumbs all over. That's the point, I think, Manny. I love how I'm just tumbling into these. They say, yeah. <laughs> How lewd. See, I don't, I don't think there's a point to this being manual, unless you can jump over... No, you can't. There's only one point to reach in there. Okay, let's get close and see if we can... Shoot! No, that's not gonna work. If I just hand it to them, I'm liable to lose a finger or two. So how do we turn it into crumbs? If I just hand it to them, I'm liable to lose a finger. You can or make two. that noise, Mazeppa. Which one? The pigeons? If I just hand it to them, I'm liable to lose a finger. So or we two. have to do something with the bread to turn it into crumbs. We can't do it ourselves, can we? I 
I get crumbs all over. Yeah, Manny. Get crumbs all over. I get crumbs all over. All right, so at this point... Let's see if we can... Maybe over here. That drinking thing is not gonna be... No use for it. No way it's not gonna come in handy at some point. So how do I... He's got a lock on it. I can't believe he doesn't trust me. How do I render the crumbs? He's got a lock on it. I can't believe he doesn't trust me. Nothing in here. No. Nothing else in here. Can we get any more of that fella? Yeah, we can. Ooh, ick. It came out like soft serve ice cream, but judging by the smell, I think it's auto body filler. Still think I'm locked up, hopefully. So what am I missing? I'm missing a way of turning the bread into crumbs. I can't just maybe or or is it that I have to tie it to something and throw it at them? And it's gonna be obvious and it's gonna annoy me. I get crumbs all over. Okay, in the interest of moving this forward... Yogg, do you remember if I need to get crumbs or am I doing something else? Sorry. 
You have everything you need. Could there be a way of using the scythe on the bread? a very good use of this special ceremonial bread. Let's go back up to the pigeons, I think. There should be a fairly obvious way of dealing with this. Not down there, man. God. If you still had muscles, this would be quite the workout. <laughs> yeah, we've been going up and down quite a bit. I prefer to eat out of clean dishes that aren't nailed. Ah, to the there's a dish in here. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, let's put the bread in the dish. Yeah. Ooh. Look at how he rendered it into little. Okay, so now they're gonna go for it. Yeah. Well, it's not really. It's a big glob of pixels, but let's let's go for that. Yeah. Get him off me! dishes that aren't nailed to the roof. Wait, so how did that help me? Birds. I'm gonna need to do it again, aren't I? I'm warning you, you little roof chickens. Show okay, some let's respect. get some more bread. I need to do something as well uh, something else as well. As I do this. There's something else that I'm missing. And I, I think it's gonna be the case that, that the bread bin is gonna be inexhaustible, probably, until I get it right. Rats of the air. I'll just take a little more bread yeah, to honor the dead. I'm gonna keep doing that until I get it right. Can you get the pigeons drunk? You mean dip the bread in the alcohol? Is that what you mean? I guess it's worth trying. I don't think you can, but maybe, maybe you can. <laughs> Why not? Okay, obviously, the crumbs are... If the bread is infused, quote unquote, with alcohol, they should have some reaction to it. But I don't. Let me try it. Just so I. Which one was it? It's gonna be nine. Yeah, the latest one is the highest number. Okay, so I'm going to that wouldn't be a very good use no, of this special ceremonial bread. That wouldn't be no, a very good use of this it. special ceremonial bread. That wouldn't be a very good use of this special ceremonial bread. Definitely not. That wouldn't be a very okay, man. Okay. Hmm. 
Or if I could get a cup of this. See, at some point I'm gonna pick up that cup. Let him try the bread thing again. in there. And maybe that will scare them eventually. And if I put the crumbs in there as well, is it gonna scare them and they're gonna fly away? Okay, all of them. Okay. Yeah, beat it, you lousy little ledge pickers. <laughs> That's cute. That's really cute. Okay, let's get those eggs. There's your you answer. You must come with me, young ones, for I am the Green Reaper. Okay, don't be so dramatic. I think I should get out of here with these eggs before those vent vultures come back. They're pigeons, Manny. Pigeons. You're being a bit dramatic. Okay, so that's a bit of progress. GG. <laughs> Thank you. We've been going for a while now. Let me see how much I can do still. Agent Calavera and two guests. And two guests. Oh, right. <laughs> the eggs. Cute. Check these babies out. Literally. Excellent, Manuel. With these, I can breed an entire army of winged messengers. Really? Our revolution can spread now across Guess the land, carried on the shimmering wings of justice, thanks to you. Agent Calavera. You are a friend of the revolution, Agent Calavera. And now, let me be of service to you. Okay. You must go to the town of Rubacaba, my friend. You want to find your lost soul. How do you know where she is? I don't. But everyone who wants to get to the Ninth Underworld must cross the Sea of Lament, and therefore must go to Rubacaba to get passage on a ship. As long as you get there before she does, you'll find her. But it may be quite a wait. I'll wait as long as it takes. Manuel, are you in love with her? Love? Love is for the living, Sal. I'm only after her for one reason. She's my ticket out of here. Maybe you were right, Brad, with a knife. Ooh, fancy. That was some tunnel. I'm all the way to the edge of the petrified forest. Okay, let's save. Again, I'm not gonna number them, just to confuse myself. Anything I can do? Oh, gloves. What's up, buddy? Gladys, my friend. Why are you crying? Betty? Hmm. Oh, Betty! They fired me! Oh, that's just wrong. <laughs> me too, buddy. You don't understand, Betty? I was created just to do that job. It's the only thing that makes me happy. 
It's like they reached into my chest and pulled out my heart and threw it into the woods. Ooh. Gladys, what have you done? Oh, Gladys. We're gonna have to get that heart, huh? Oh, he's asleep. Okay, that's good. Good. That's reassuring. <laughs> wake up, buddy. I don't think he's gonna wake up without his heart. Wake up, buddy. What about the inventory? We still have... Stuff? Okay, the inventory hasn't reset. He snores really loudly, doesn't he? Scooter oh, no. time. Ooh, ick. Sp uh, not exactly Shoot. Spooder time. Flying Spooders. I'm gonna can I just take it? Uh, it's stuck in there good. Maybe that's the moment to actually use the side at least at last. Piece of cake. Okay. Hi, Chihuahua. Don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> That's not going to work. <laughs> okay, let me just try it again. She's going to, or, or he's going to, or whatever. He's going to come in and repair the web. Done that already. Yeah, done that. <laughs> okay, you're right. So, I'm, I need a way of making this stick. <laughs> um, so, let's put that away then. That's not on fire. Cute. Of course it's not on fire. Sleep, Manny, stop it. I can't just leave Glass right, laying so there. Can't, it could be dying. Mm. Can't leave this mm. screen. Can I try mm. that direction? Where, where am I? Manny? No, oh, there. Not that direction, sure. I can't just leave okay. Gladys laying there. He could be dying. Anything to do with the car? No. Can't even go there. Well anchored, and it's gonna be a solution at some point. Yeah, it's too well anchored. <laughs> Wake up, buddy. He's dreaming. All right, so I'm missing something in here. Then some way to do this. Can I use the fire extinguisher on the thing as it lands? But I already did it. So I'm gonna let me do it again done that already my scythe I like to keep it next to where my heart done that already hmm. I don't think the game would would allow a situation in which I can't progress because I've I've done anything and got stuck I don't think that's this kind of game done that already. so there's some way to solve this 
In other words, I don't think that would have been the way to go the first time around. Because if it was, uh, I would have been That's able not on to do fire. it. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. That's a good line, Manny. It doesn't help right now. So, anything else I'm missing? The bones? Those bones? I guess I could always use a spare. <laughs> That's cute. Soup's on! Huh. They don't seem very interested in that bone I put in there. Maybe you want more? There's already a bone in there. There's already a bone in there. Anything over here? No? So what do I have? I have the sign. That's not on fire. That's the bone. Oh, that's all I have. So, I've not carried across any of the balloon animals. So, uh, but I have carried across the fire extinguisher. So, I'm gonna need it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have it. Aha. Uh -huh. So where the oh, poor fudge spiders. Did it go? No more demon heart to eat. Okay, I hear it is. I'm sure it made some sense to somebody at some point. Wait, so the bone in there was essentially like a slingshot. Can I just put it back in? Ooh. Heart! Heart is good! Good! It's good to heart! Don't tear out heart! Heart is good! Good idea, Stop Lawless, beating yes. good heart! Hey, is that my car? We're back here. Mr. Rivers I assure you the missing woman will be found. I will personally track her down myself. Just like you personally picked her up from the land of the living. That was my intention, but Agent Calavera somehow got to her first. We gave you the fastest mm. car, Domino. We gave you all the best clients. You had all the advantages. So how was this Calavera able to sneak in there and eat your lunch? Oh, now, Hector, you can't get too mad at Domino. That wasn't his fault. Oh, I can, Don. You should know I can get too mad. But not at Domino. After all, he wasn't in charge of this operation. At least, not until now. Hector, no! Oh, dear. Oh. Wait, but... There it goes. <laughs> Funny. Ah. Yeah, For some funny. reason, I was expecting tulips. Well, maybe Mr. Calavera, eh, Domino? Why don't you personally go down to the basement and escort him up here? The sooner he's sprouted and we can get back to business, the better. Wanna go for a ride? I thought you'd never ask! <laughs> Oh, I can control it. Yeah, okay, so. A couple of ways to go, I guess. Where is that? So, not there. Can't go there. Can I go here? Okay, that's a hub of some sort. Obviously. 
Let me save here. Hey, wait a second. Are we gonna be doing a Scooby Doo thing now? That's an interesting mechanic. Over here? No. Oh, control this one. Okay, so it looks like we can go anywhere just yet, maybe. Because I don't think this is here just for fun. Let's try one of the other directions. Let's try over here. Ooh, okay, that worked. Híjole, mano. <laughs> what sort of unholy Christmas tree farm is this, Gladys? That's a good way to describe it. Gladys? Manny, check out this wheelbarrow, will ya? With a couple of ATV nubby tires on the back and a two-stroke lawnmower engine, we could make one sweet go-kart. Oh, hmm. Gladys is just fulfilling his elemental destiny. Careful, Manny! With the harmonic balancer turned off, those pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh, but... Oh! If we shook the tree down, those pumps would dislodge, and I could make high-lift shocks out of them for the phone wagon! Hold on, I'm ah. going to unbalance that wheel with some of these weights. That'll shake it down for sure. We're going to need to make shock absorbers so we can go, go the rocky way. Just give me a second to balance these doggies! That should do it. Okay. Still not enough. And maybe if I move them around a little... Let's try it. Hey, while you have that off, let me try moving those weights around some more. Hmm, I don't think that's gonna do it. We're gonna have to do something else as well. Just reiterating the same okay, thing. Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies! Oh. That should do it. What if I start it while he's up there? Still not enough. And maybe if I move them around a little. Yeah, let's try that. Hey, while you have that off, let me try moving those weights okay, around. Okay, so more. let's try to engage it as soon as he gets up there, if we can. Because Manny can't move yet. Right now I don't have control over Manny. Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies. Okay, we can move now. Okay. Hey, Manny, what are you doing? I'm sorry, Gladys. Outside of the entertainment value, that didn't do what I had hoped. Oh. So what now? We can take the wheel back. I don't want to drive this thing all over the forest. You will once I get that two stroke in there. I don't want to drive this thing all over the forest. You will once I get that doesn't two seem to mind there. being up there. What if I turn it off now? What happens? Sorry, 
everybody. That was a dirty trick, Manny. Oh, it was an accident. I bumped the switch with my elbow. Oh, okay. Again, Gladys. Manny, you <laughs> what if we? I don't know. That's the kind of hike I just don't need. Okay, so we can't leave this screen. We have to do something in here. Just a bit. There's also something that should be explored. Oh, those are ah. Oh. Those controls go to the machine. Okay, so the wheelbarrow needs to be in some specific position. Look, when I move it, you can hear a pneumatic sound engaging. Yeah. You will once I get that two stroke in there. Let's try it like that first. That's that's gonna be the solution. It's gonna be in some specific position. Either it's not gonna be on any of the tubes or it's gonna be on some of the tubes. Like this? No. Not like this. That was a dirty trick, Manny! It wasn't me this time. These kids did it. These kids. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wonder if there's gonna be another option. Another option with the lines. You're not gonna climb up again? I mean, this needs to be off though. Hey, while you have that off, let me try moving those dog. wings around some more. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Okay, so no, no, not gonna work this, this time, with the barrel in this position. That should do it. Ah. Okay. Like this, and with Glotus hey, up there. While you have that off, let me try moving those weights around some more. Now, no monkey business this time, Calavera. Any 
anything? No. Okay, so look at the way the pumps are behaving. They need to be completely out of alignment to make this work, right? The, the, the thing needs to shake loose. I want to drive this thing all over the forest. You will once I get that two-stroke in there. <laughs> so with this one. We only get one on one side and two on the other side. Not enough. That was a dirty trick, Manny. I don't know how that happened, but I think it was an electrical short. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> electrical short. Okay, let's try it again. Hey, while you have that off, let me try moving those weights around some more. I forget, was it originally like this? That was a dirty trick, Manny. I wasn't even near that switch. Oh, okay. those weights around some more. Now, no monkey business this time, Calavera! There's, a, there's not many more combinations to try, I think. It just... Man, seems like there's only four positions. Trick, Manny. You said to turn it on. I did? Yes. Don't say something like that unless you mean it. Oh, okay. Maybe if I try moving the barrel 
first to see You will once I get that two stroke in there. <laughs> yeah. Same young, yeah. Okay, so ideally, what I'm thinking is going on is only the pumps on one side should be working when Lotus gets up there, right? And that could completely shake it apart. Two extreme positions in which the barrel is not on any of the tools. That's one. So that's three positions. That doesn't change it. That's four. Wait, did that change? Seems shaky. Let's have Glottis climb up there now. Hey, while you have that off, let me try moving those weights around some more. Now, no monkey business this time, Calavera. Sorry, guys, this is not gonna be fun, I think. Doesn't do anything. Okay. Manny, until now we scraped along the ground like rats, but from now on we oh, saw he's got style like eagles, <laughs> like eagles on pogo sticks. Ah. What a relief. I was getting Bogo. concerned that our transportation wasn't ostentatious enough. Get in, or are you afraid of heights? Okay. So we can now jump over here. I think. Oh no. Look out! Look out for what? <laughs> What are you doing? Don't you know what's on the other side of that gate? What is? Yeah, the way out of the forest. Demon beavers, Manny. They'll make you into a dam. Ah, Relax, right. Geppetto. I'm not of made of wood. But Manny, they don't use wood. Oh. They don't use wood. No. Okay. Right, let me save. Now, I've been going for over three hours. I could carry on, but I don't think we're done with year one yet. And there's quite a bit more as well. So... Okay, Gladys, thank you. So, I think I'll stop here for now.